How's it going everyone? Chris from Blu-ray Critic and on today's update that I talk about some of my favorite Blu-ray releases from the year 2015 and starting things off with Mad Max Fury Road starring Tom Hardy and Charlie Stern. Action-packed movie, one of my favorite movies of the year by far. Definitely one of those movies that uh, was really fun to watch in theaters um, and a really great uh, steelbook released by Best Buy. So definitely get your hands on it if you can. I know this has been basically out of print since the day it was uh, first released but uh, if you can get it for a good deal on eBay go ahead and do so. But uh, I'm sure folks who already appreciate this film already have this steelbook. All right, next up I got uh, Furious 7. Uh, love this one as well. And, of course, this is the last film with uh, Paul Walker. And uh, also his brothers, you know, came in and filled in in the scenes that obviously he passed away and he couldn't do it himself. But uh, overall, really action-packed movie. And, uh, of course, uh, they're talking about Furious 8 already. And an interesting note is uh, since... Uh, you know, Cuba and America, they're, you know, friends again. So basically, uh, Universal is really interested in filming uh, certain scenes of Furious 8 in Cuba. So that'd be really cool. And it's going to be the first uh, big production movie that takes place in Cuba. So that'll be really interesting to see. But yeah, Furious 7, really great movie. Next up, I got uh, Dwayne Johnson and San Andreas. This is the 3D edition. Of course, includes the regular uh, 2D edition. And, uh, this movie is, what can I say, it's just a really solid popcorn flick. Uh, I just have to go in without thinking too much and just appreciate it for what it, does, what it is. And really great uh, special effects. But I like disaster movies, you know, like uh, what was the one with Roland Emmerich a number of years ago? You know, 2012 was pretty good. It was okay, but I like San Andreas a lot better than that one. And of course, uh, Independence Day 2 is going to come out next year. Or actually this year in the summer. Or uh, I think it's going to be in summer of this year, 2016. All right, next up I got uh, Terminator Genesis back with Arnold Schwarzenegger in the role that he belongs. And uh, as far as the story is concerned, it's it's okay, it's not the greatest, but I really like this one cuz it just, you know, brings back Arnold Schwarzenegger in the role since uh we hadn't seen him since before the days of him being the governor of California, which was uh, in 2003 when Terminator 3 was released. But uh, overall, another great action-packed movie. Next up, the comedy hit, Ted 2. Really liked this one in theaters when I saw it. And uh, great performance by Mark Wahlberg. And, of course, hysterical performance doing the voice of Ted with uh, Seth MacFarlane. So this is the unrated cut. Tons of great special features. Lots of great cameos in this one. Definitely check it out if you haven't uh, seen it yet or if you you know, if you're, you know, still have doubts about it. But it's a really funny movie. Next up, of course, is Jurassic World. Uh, one of the biggest uh, movies of 2015 alongside Furious 7 until uh, Star Wars came came around and uh, basically demolished the box office, taking in uh, the most uh, amount of money made uh, domestically so far. I'm sure it's going to beat uh, Avatar as far as worldwide sales as well. But uh, definitely check this one out. Add it to your collection if you haven't done so yet. I'm sure every fan of Jurassic World or Jurassic Park movies already owns this one. So... All right, next up is Tom Cruise and uh, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Really solid movie again. And I saw this one in theaters and absolutely loved it. And the interesting thing about this one is, you know, Tom Cruise doing his own stunts. It just makes it that more uh, fun to watch, knowing that, you know, he basically risks his own life. For the fans out there that appreciate his movies, and, uh, of course, you know, he's hanging on for dear life on the side of a military cargo plane as it takes off in this one. But uh, overall... It, to some me, these are like the American James Bond movies and, uh, you know, really beautiful exotic locations where it takes place. Overall, really great job. And, of course, they are already announced Mission Impossible uh, 6, which probably won't be released for another couple years because Tom Cruise is working on a bunch of other stuff in between. Next up, we got Ex Machina. This was a really surprise sci-fi film, really unique movie. In a really beautiful location as far as where it takes place. It's this house in the middle of a forest. Uh, surrounded by just, you know, beautiful lush, lush trees with waterfall. And just an excellent movie. What can I say? Um, it really gets you thinking, you know. It's really interesting. It would be nice if we ever saw a sequel to this one. But uh, it's probably unnecessary for a sequel. But if, if there is one, I'll definitely watch it. That is for sure. Really interesting uh, story. Next up, we got uh, finally the restored edition of Spartacus, uh, released in 2015, and a really beautiful restoration on this one, and a really great job by Universal. I applaud them for doing a wonderful job. Definitely pick this one up as well. Also, we got, uh, closing it out in the video here, Interstellar, 
Aladdin finally making its uh, Blu-ray debut. Of, of course, uh, Mr. Holmes, really great performance with Ian McKellen on a different take of uh, the Sherlock Holmes story. Also, uh, the great release of uh, Pierce Brosnan collection and one nice box set. And of course, the ultimate James Bond collection contains all 23 movies and a space reserved for Spectre, which I'll add to my collection soon. So anyhow, that's my video, my favorite picks for 2015. Thanks for taking a look, and I'll see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.